What is up guys, what is up YouTube, my friends, everybody. I know I have been away from YouTube for about a month, month and a half, something like that. And this has been the longest that I have been away from YouTube. But things in my life are going on and there's some different things happening. So I haven't had the chance to make any videos. But today uh, I'm showing you guys what am I doing with my computer, Snow White. I told you guys that I was going to do custom cooling and I did right here and I was also going to do my graphics card. So if you guys remember remember back in December I got the GTX 980 Ti classified and guys uh, performancepcs.com um, I had some issues with them, I returned the water block, I mean not returned it, they never uh, shipped it to me so I got upset, I got very mad and I said you know what? I got rid of, I uh, canceled that order and I said give me my money back. I sold the GTX 980 Ti Classified and the main reason why, well because the new release of uh, GPUs uh, from Nvidia it's coming out. So in the meantime I went ahead and went to the red team. I got the AMD R9 390 from XFX. Yeah. So uh, it's an 8 gigabyte uh, graphics card. I see no difference uh, between this one and my uh, GTX 980. Honestly, guys, I see no difference. It, same frames per second. It's a little cooler. Yes, I have to say that. But anyway, guys, so right here at the top, I put a 360 millimeter radiator. At the front, I put a 240 millimeter radiator. And at the bottom, I put a 120 millimeter radiator. And <laughs> you can say, well, that's an overkill. Trust me, when it comes to water cooling, nothing is overkill. That's what my friends say on, on uh, Facebook. But anyway guys, so right here I have my um, res and uh, pump. It's a combo. Right here you can see the, the fans. Everything is intake. Like the top is intake. Like the top of, of um, the radiator, they're pulling air in. The 120 is pulling air in. The front intake is pulling air in as well. My friend Jacob, thank you bro. Um, he has been a lot of help to me guys so right here he really pre pretty much he helped me pick all my parts and fittings and everything because i had no clue what the hell i was doing when it came to uh, custom cooling so uh thank you very much bro and guys yes like i said what am i doing right now well pretty much uh, i am waiting for pascal so what i did i just put my computer together i put the fans i put the custom loop i was gonna go get the uh, corsair h100i gtx but i decided you know what i really got the radiators i got the pump i got the liquid i got everything i'm gonna go ahead and just connect my loop and um, cool down my 5820k and i have to say something guys the 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 temperature of my uh, chip my intel chip my 5820k it stays between 45 and 50 under load and if i stress test it it goes up to 60. now that is very very cool and very cold as well not very cold but good temperatures i have to say good good temperatures for having so many radiators look at the top at the top of my case i put um these fan filters because i want to be able to clean the top and i don't want a lot of dust to go into my case even though i can clean it all the time guys thanks for watching my video i'll see you guys next time i am going to start uploading again frequently one more time that is right and hopefully by the release of pascal from nvidia i'm going to have the updated video of uh, my computer it's going to be the review because i am going to put color uh, liquid and it's just going to be great i am probably going to do hard tubing yeah because this is my first time ever doing water cooling i wanted to see the temperatures i wanted to see if it's worth it and i have to say something very very much worth it so i am probably going to do hard tubing next time i'm not sure i don't know i'll see you guys next time